Now, it was Kathy that actually started bringing this to my attention a lot more in terms of actually showing examples on how to actually, you know, make your product different. And I know I was having a conversation with, with Michael Lewis, who's, who's on the call now, and he's got a couple of products and he's done that exact thing where he's essentially, he's, he's made up his mind in terms of what product he wants to sell. It's within a particular micro niche. Then he's essentially taken what's there and improved it right? He's done something better that's not available um, to the actual market, right? And that's exactly what we're talking about. And it could be the smallest thing. But where a lot of people I find, um, I guess, have a little bit of a hiccup is when they create that particular product that has a unique selling difference, right? What ends up happening is they don't show that within their actual images, right? And even Kathy and I were having this conversation the other time where Kathy was essentially saying it needs to be on your hero image, Exactly. It needs to be there, right? So when you go to your actual product, when you go, when someone goes to Amazon, they type in a keyword, they need to see why they're going to pay more for yours. They need, they need to see why yours is more special than someone else's and why they need to buy yours. And that needs to be clear within the actual hero image itself. Reviews are not a, a requirement to making sales on Amazon. Right, so getting reviews, obviously, uh, you should be really focused on getting reviews from selling a really good product. Right, then you'll get reviews. If you're focusing on on needing to get reviews, then your focus was probably not right to begin with. Right, so you should be focusing on creating the best product that you possibly can, and then everything else will come into play. And this is probably kind of a bigger topic now, or what we're talking about. But I don't want a lot of you guys just purely relying and, and thinking that once I get my product up, as long as I get a lot of reviews on it, fake carrots or whatever you want to call them, then you know everything's going to be all right. And the case is probably not, right? Probably not. So if your product can't stand on its own and get reviews on its own and people want to buy it on its own, then you probably don't have a product that's going to be there for a long time, right? But the good news is you can always do little things here and there to actually change that and to help that. That was a video from my regular Monday night Q&A session with the members of the Aussie Online Entrepreneurs. We are a community of two and a half thousand members and growing. We're the fastest growing community of professional e-commerce sellers uh, right here in Australia. Uh, with sales, by the way, of over $50 million. $50 million, holy crap. If you'd like to find out more about what we do and how we can help you build your own e-commerce business too, get off to www.aussieonlineentrepreneurs.com.au. The link for that is in the description. And thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video.